Hello everyone, welcome to our first uh, video on uh, his, our histology lab. So real quick, uh, remember we we're talking about in lecture, we talked about organization of the body. We talked about the tissue level being one of our levels of organization uh, and the uh, definition histology as the study of the structure of tissues. So that's what we're really gonna work, work on in, in uh, this lab here. Uh, re recall that we mentioned that there are four basic tissue types, right? Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue, and neural tissue. And you guys were sort of uh, introduced sort of briefly uh, to what these uh, tissues do. So we're going to focus on each one of these uh, sort of individually. This lecture will cover epithelia, the next one uh, connective tissue, and then the last one will be muscle and neural tissue. All right, so we'll start with epithelial tissues. Remember, epithelial tissues separate the inside of the body from the outside of the body. So that means that epithelial tissues are always touching the external environment, uh, basically a, a, a space that we'll generally call lumen. And usually this space is going to be a white space when we look at it under the microscope. Um, but, I mean, sometimes the lumen will have stuff in it, uh, so it might be colored, but, but usually it's white. Now, one of the other important features of epithelial tissue, uh, aside from it touching the, always touching the lumen, uh, is that it is dominated by cells. So even though there is, you know, um, matrix around these cells, the matrix is usually not visible. Mostly what you're going to see is cells. And then mostly really what you're going to see from the cells are the nuclei of the cells. So in epithelia, you're going to see lots of nuclei densely packed together, and typically those nuclei are going to be organized into layers. Uh, they're not going to be kind of spread out randomly. Now, that's important because uh, underneath all epithelia, you're going to have this connective tissue called the basal lamina or basement membrane, and that connected, uh, connective tissue in general is going to be the polar opposite of epithelia where it, the uh, tissue is going to be dominated by matrix, not by cells. You will see nuclei in connective tissue, but typically the nuclei are spread out. They're not densely packed and they're randomly placed. They're not really, there's no real pattern or, or layers that those uh, nuclei are, are in. And so it's really important that you sort of recognize that whenever you look at a slide, where you're looking at epithelia and then the connective tissue underneath it, that you recognize the epithelia is where you have all the nuclei. The connective tissue is where those nuclei sort of seem to thin out and maybe in some cases disappear. Now with epithelia, uh, the, the epithelia typically have two names. Uh, the first name is going to be either simple or stratified. Uh, the first part of the name tells you the number of cell layers in the epithelia. So if you have a simple epithelia, that means you have just one layer of cells. If you have a stratified epithelia, that means you have two or more layers of cells. Okay? The second part of the name will tell you the shape of the cells, particularly the cells that are touching the lumen at what's called the apical surface. Uh, so you'll have squamous cells, which will be thin, flat cells that are look that look like fried eggs. And you see example of one of those here. Okay. Um, then you have cuboidal cells, which are roughly cube shaped, um, and I'll explain that a little bit here. Uh, and then columnar cells, which are also which are roughly column or rectangular shaped. So our first epithelia is what's called simple squamous epithelia. So right away, you should be able to tell simple, that means one layer of cells, squamous, this, that, that, that layer of cells is going to be thin, flat cells, like fried eggs. Okay? And you can really see that in this particular image here. So notice the white space all over the place, that's lumen. Okay, that's the outside of the body. And the epithelia is going to be whatever cells are touching that white space. Now here you'll notice that the cells are, are very, very, very thin and flat. And they're, you know, because they're very thin, there really is only room for one layer of them. So, so it perfectly fits this description, one layer of thin, flat cells. Okay? Uh, you can see another example of that here. So th this example comes from the lungs. This example over here comes from the kidney. Uh, 
So here your lumen is small, it's not big like in the previous image. So you got your lumen there around this structure called, that for now I'll just go ahead and call the cauliflower. As right, so you see the cauliflower, you see the white space around it, that's your lumen. Your simple, or simple squamous epithelial cells are gonna be just the thin flat cells that are gonna be lining the outside of that lumen here. And I drew sort of a black line right here to give you a boundary, like where those cells end. Uh, so you can see that these cells are incredibly thin and flat, and there's really only one layer of them. So this is a simple squamous epithelium here. Next is going to be a stratified squamous epithelium. So remember, stratified means two or more cell layers. So the only stratified epithelium you guys are going to look at is going to be stratified squamous epithelium. And stratified squamous epithelium has usually eight or more cell layers. So we're not talking about anything close to one cell layer uh, most of the time that you guys are going to see it. <clears throat> so if you look here, uh, you find your lumen, right? Your lumens, your white space out here, your lumens, your white space out here, okay? Notice that touching that, you've got this uh, area where the nuclei are really densely packed together in layers. And then when you get down here, where my laser pointer is now, notice that the nuclei kind of thin out, the nuclei become more random, and really you start to see this uh, fibrous stuff. Uh, uh, between the, the nuclei. Uh, those are fibers that are part of the matrix. And so you're actually seeing matrix here, whereas you're not really seeing matrix here. So this is the difference between epithelia up here and connective tissue down here. Okay, so your epithelia here is everything from the lumen to this uh, sort of uh, boundary here. Okay, so notice that this epithelium is very thick, much thicker than what we saw before. Now, uh, you'll, when you look at the cells that are basically touching the, the connective tissue underneath, they're, they're not going to look very thin and flat like the name describes. So this name really only describes the cells that are touching the lumen. It doesn't really describe cells that are deeper in the epithelium. Uh, so notice we've got a cell right here that's flaking off. And when we see that cell flaking off, it's flat, right? It's thin and flat, meaning squamous. So many layers, the top layers of cells are fit thin and flat. That's a stratified squamous epithelium. And you see the same thing here. Okay. The next epithelium is called simple cuboidal epithelium. So this is going to be one layer of roughly cube-shaped cells. Now I say roughly because Sometimes what happens is when you take this tissue and you cut it, uh, you have to cut it thin to make it something that's easy to see under the light microscope. And when you're cutting tissue, it's kind of like cutting butter. When you, when you cut a stick of butter, is it going to retain its sort of cube shape, uh, particularly if it's a little bit warm? The answer, of course, is no. Uh, you're going to get some change to the shape just by the preparation um, that you use to make to cut it. Uh, and uh, that, that happens in, in tissue when you prepare it to put under the microscope. Uh, and when we see this, it's called artifact. So one of the artifacts that you'll see is sometimes cuboidal cells are not perfect cubes. As long as they're roughly cube shaped, as long as they're about as tall as they are wide, whether or not they look like cubes, they're, they're gonna be uh, considered cuboidal cells. Okay, so these, the simple cub cuboid epithelium is going to be in small tubes typically, and the small tubes, either you can cut them in cross section like you see here. So what you'll see is one ring of nuclei around a very small lumen, and notice that the, the cells that, are, that those little nuclei are a part of are going to be roughly cube shaped. Or sometimes you could take the, the tube and you can cut it long ways instead of in cross section. This is what we'll call longitudinal section. And when we cut the tube in longitudinal section, you see a line of the simple cuboidal epithelium below the lumen and another line above it. So you'll notice you see like a line of nuclei, another line of nuclei, and the lumen between them. And then when you look at these cells that are part of that line of nuclei, you'll notice they're roughly cube-shaped. Okay, so this is a simple cuboidal epithelium. Next is simple columnar epithelium. So this will be one layer of roughly column or rectangular-shaped cells. 
Right? And again, the same problem. You can have artifacts that, that will take these columnar cells and make them look a little bit less like rectangles and a little bit more rounded on the edges. And that's okay. As long as they're taller than they are wide, uh, they're going to be columnar cells. So in this slide here, you have a very small lumen, but you notice the white space here, the white space here, the white space here. This one has some stuff in it, okay, but that's still a lumen. Okay. And then notice the cells touching it, right? That's going to be your epithelia. Okay? Uh, and then notice uh, uh, you got this line of nuclei that's part of that epithelia. Uh, but then when you go a little bit deeper, you'll see a bunch of nuclei, but notice that these nuclei are really spread out and that there's a bunch of, you know, pink, swirly pink stuff kind of between the nuclei. That's matrix. This is connective tissue down here. Okay. So your epithelium really ends right about here. Okay. So notice we've got one line of nuclei, so one layer of cells. And then when I pick out one of these cells, these cells are roughly uh, rectangular in shape. So these are simple columnar epithelial cells. The last two epithelia aren't going to follow the same naming convention as the others. Uh, so you have, uh, first we have pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. So when you have a pseudostratified epithelium, that prefix pseudo means false. So this epithelium is what's called a false stratified epithelium. So remember, stratified means uh, two or more cell layers. Since this one is false stratified, what that means is it's actually one layer of cells that looks like more than one layer of cells, right? It looks like we've got a bunch of rows of nuclei here. Uh, so, so you might be tempted to say that's stratified, but it's not. Uh, this is actually just one layer of cells, okay? Now, uh, these uh, ep epithelial cells are going to have uh, plasma membrane extensions called cilia. Uh, those cilia are going to face the lumen, so your lumen's up here, and you got what looks kind of like a hairbrush uh, in that lumen. Those are those little hairbrush bristles. Those are the cilia, and this is really going to be the only epithelium that we're going to look at that's ciliated. So right away, when you see cilia, you can just go ahead and say uh, uh, this uh, epithelium, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Okay. Now, there's a, actually a nice pink line here sort of showing you where this epithelium ends. Notice that the nuclei thin out down here. This is your connective tissue down here. Okay. <clears throat> the last type of epithelium is called transitional epithelium. In this one, uh, you got your lumen up here. Uh, notice you got a bunch of nuclei here, and then there's going to be a line about here. Okay. So everything below that, this is your um, connective tissue down here because you got some fibrous, swirly pink stuff. Uh, that's connective tissue down there. Okay, so this is all your epithelium up here. So notice it looks like a bunch of layers. Um, so you might be tempted to say stratified epithelium. But, but remember, the only stratified epithelium that we're going to learn or that we were learning is stratified squamous. And right away, when you look at the surface, look at look at the cells touching the lumen. If this was stratified squamous, these cells are supposed to be flat. Do these cells look flat at all? Okay, the answer here should, really should be no. These cells actually look really round and large. Uh, so this is clearly not squamous. So it's not going to be stratified squamous. It's got to be something else. Okay. Uh, you got these long, thin, underlying cells down here. The large, round, bumpy cells give transitional epithelium a bumpy surface that you're never going to see in stratified squamous. Okay. Um, and so that, that's usually what I use to, to decipher this transitional epithelium. I look for these big, puffy cells uh, touching the lumen, giving the bumpy surface that you'll never see in uh, stratified squamous.